Tracy, uh, one of my patient's teeth. Uh, uh, we are going to be doing tooth number two and three that we did the other day. And uh, Tracy, why don't you kind of tell us about uh, who you are and uh, your situation? Well, my name is Tracy and I am a dental manufacturer rep. And so I am in and out of general practitioner offices uh, regularly. Uh, consequently, my uh, six month cleanings, I tend to rotate doctor to doctor for each cleaning and exam. And uh, for this last six month cleaning and exam, uh, I came in to see Dr. Kohler. Now, um, you said that you've been going on a regular basis the, um, mm -hmm. the last years. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you look at these uh, fillings that we do have, this is tooth number two. You can see the brown spot there. And, and there's also a, um, uh, some brown uh, uh, on the uh, uh, tooth in front of it. You can see a little white sealant on the distolingual groove of number two. Um, and there's no catch on any of these, uh, um, but uh, we went in with the diagnodent. Um, after looking at it, it was confirmed that yes, there was decay. Um, uh, now, Tracy, uh, you're going to see here in just a few minutes some of the work. Uh, um, tell us about the, um, your thoughts about the microscope. Well, I was completely surprised at um, the decay for the last few years, you know, there's been nothing wrong with my teeth, and, um, and I was kind of excited about that uh, until the microscope picked up the brown spots, and obviously there was uh, quite a bit of a decay happening back there. So it was nice to see. Now, if I would have just told you that you had a cavity, or actually a, a number of cavities, uh, without any support, what would you have thought? Um, I would have questioned the, the number of cavities. Um, that you had told me I had, um, uh, but I'd much rather know I have the start of a cavity and fix it at that point than let it get to where that molar got to, uh, which I'm sure everybody will see in a moment. Now here we the, the, uh, removed a little bit of the, the decay. Um, you know, the first surface layer removed the sealant. You can see the white, white chalky area and tooth number two, you can see the little uh, decay of uh, dark stain uh, uh, on number three. And number three is really kind of a, um, uh, a nice, l I mean, you know, in terms of size, you'd like to get in there and remove the decay quickly. And, and here's a, a close up of it. And you, you look at that and you say, okay, well, that's, you know, something that, you know, some people would say that's not even into enamel, but the uh, diagnodent says that it is. And even here, you can't catch, get a, a catch on these white areas. Now, here we go. Um, a little further on, drilled it out some more. You can see the brown. That's there. And as we continue on, you can start seeing it just being peeled out a little bit. And that's, you know, truly a sign of, you know, soft decay that's there. Here's some decay detector. And the idea behind that is when we remove the uh, uh, whatever's left of stain is decay. And so we see that tooth number three has you know just tiny little spots and a couple little spots, but tooth number two really has quite a little bit down in that mesial groove. Looking at three. Now you're going to see the actual drilling, which typically I don't do for every patient. 
It's just uh, uh, people that are in the dental industry like to know what's going on so that they can see everything and clean that up. And it's a, a, a nice service. I'm going to actually put it on fast forward for you there. See the back, back tooth. Open up the area. And you have to remove the undermined enamel because the decay is actually up underneath the enamel on the inside because it spreads so much. Now this is the first fillings that I've ever done for you. You haven't done any other initial work, correct? Correct. And you can see pretty adequately how it just continues to peel out more tooth structure. And that's definitely something that uh, um, has been sitting there for quite some time. It'd be very unusual for something like that to happen in just six months. And then we put a little more decay detector back in there. And that's more or less to show you that there's still more decay there. And I know that there is, but I wanted to get, let you have the feeling of, okay, we're, we're going to get all of it out completely so that you understand why we continue to drill, and especially when we get close to the nerve. Here I am clearing it out some more. Now something like that, the tooth can always die at some time because it's so deep. And there are the fillings. The fillings look good, and when you look at the top surface of them, you think everything's in good shape. Now, Tracy, <clears throat> tell me about the overall experience of what we did for you. How do you feel? Well, I've in the past, I've had the experience of having a cavity filled, and then six months later going to a different doctor, and then finding a cavity still existing underneath the filling that I just had. And so um, being able to come in and actually see the, um, the recording of um, the cavity being filled and how deep that cavity was and um, confirming that I was able to see that all of it was, all of the decay was taken out, um, it, I just feel very confident that, um, that the problem was taken care of correctly and thoroughly and, um, and also, just from a patient's point of view, uh, you know, having all that drilling happening uh, for so long because there was so much decay in that tooth, your imagination starts running wild with you that, um, you know, wow, it's taking off a lot of tooth or um, whatever the case might be. And being able to see what was actually happening just debunked all the imagination and um, all the thoughts that run through your head as you're being drilled on. <laughs> sure, absolutely. So, um, so I really uh, enjoyed the experience of having the microscope and being able to see um, the tooth being worked on on the TV. Um, it was just, 
it was a great experience, and I'm obviously coming back uh, for more help with you. So.